Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Melt with Nat and Jack. I'm Natalie. If it's your first time here, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much. Welcome back. This is a first time for me. I always try to like, I always like to try to add something new on a holiday. And this year I made a pistachio cake. So this pistachio cake is a recipe that was given to me from my friend's mom years ago. We used to bartend together. And his favorite cake that his mom would make him for his birthday was a pistachio cake. So she'd bring it into the bar every year for Billy's birthday. And it took me quite a few times asking her for the recipe. I don't think she wanted to give it up. Finally, one day she came in and she handed me her recipe. So I was digging through recipes and I'm like, oh, Billy's mom's pistachio cake. I'm going to try that because my kids love pistachios. And I thought this would be a great addition to our dessert table. So there are numerous ways to make it. She printed out the recipe for me and then she in parentheses wrote all over it on how she does it. So I'm gonna start from the beginning. First thing I do is I make the frosting because you make the frosting and you have to refrigerate it for a half an hour at least. So before I get started on the cake, I did the frosting. The frosting is, well, here's the clincher. The frosting is a Cool Whip eight ounce sour cream, even though that's a 16 ounce, I used half of that. And one Jello pistachio instant pudding um a cup yes a cup of powdered sugar half a cup of milk that all went into here i still have i have left over even after i iced it and you fold it do not mix it you fold it and you put it in the fridge now here's my clincher after i did all this i saw billy's mom wrote in parentheses that for the frosting she just does the milk and the pudding mix. She doesn't add the sour cream and the powdered sugar. I saw that afterwards. So I tasted it, it tastes excellent, but I'm going to try it next time and do, do it without the sour cream and powdered sugar. So either way, I will write that in my below, um, ingredients and how to make it on how the recipe goes and how my friend's mom does it. So that's the frosting part. Then the cake part is a box of yellow cake mix. I use Duncan Hines, use whatever you want. Another pistachio instant pudding. So you need two pistachio instant puddings, one for the cake, one for the frosting. Then it says a cup of milk or a cup of ginger ale. She wrote that I saw in the parentheses. She wrote dash, I use milk. So I used milk, but you can use ginger ale. Maybe if it's a summer party you're making it for or a warmer out, you would use the ginger ale. I bet that would be an interesting um, change for it. Then it's three eggs, a cup of Wesson oil she has. So I got, well, even though I have vegetable oil in the house, I bought Wesson just for this and a cup of chopped pecans. So I took these and even though they're already chopped, I chopped them because it says chopped fine, which you'll see down below. So I put them in my chopper to really chop them fine because that's how the recipe says to do it. Prior to, I buttered and floured a bunt can. So that's the only reason the flour is out because the flour does not go in the cake or anything else. I just used it to flour. You can use a 13 by nine pan, she wrote, or you can use three nine inch pans. I'm not doing the three nine inch pans because that's a lot of work that I have to, it was more work than I want to do today. I'm already like been cooking for two days. So I did the bunt pan. Then I baked it and it says to bake on 350 for 25 minutes. Well, when I put the toothpick in, you know, the toothpick method, if it comes out clean, it's bait, it's done. I did the toothpick method a few times. It wasn't done. I kept adding another five minutes, adding another five minutes. I don't know if it's because I did it in the bunt pan. So 
For me, it was about 40 minutes in the 350 oven until the toothpick came out clean. Then I cooled it on a rack. After it was cooled, I flipped it over to my cake plate. I let it cool and then I iced it. Now I'm going to keep it in the refrigerator till tomorrow because with the sour cream and the cool whip, um, I'm not leaving that out. So I'm gonna put it in the fridge until um, right, be you know, like an hour before dessert time that we do our dessert table. So I think I got everything in there. And if not, just see below, but it's a pistachio cake. And um, yeah, I'll let you guys know how it tastes tomorrow. I did the cake the exact way, just the frosting. Um, um, it still tastes good, but I wanna try it without the powdered sugar and sour cream next time. Okay, guys, love you. Happy Thanksgiving. I have one more um, making my stuffed bacon next. And then I'm going to do the fresh homemade whipped cream for the pumpkin crisp my daughter-in-law is making. And then I'm done. So, and then I'm done cooking for a while. <laughs> At least the next week I am not cooking. I got to do my turkey still too. I got to do the, um, the turkey, but I'm a little nervous. My turkey's still frozen. So I'm going to Google. I guess I got to soak it in cold water. I don't know. All right. Enough babbling. Bye guys. Love you.